Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here are some examples of how you can use the darken blend mode. First of all, the most uh, classic way is to erase white. So if I just drop in here, so a piece of paper, say you've scanned it, it's got some text on it. You want to keep the text, you want to get rid of the white. All we do is we go to that layer here, change the blend mode to darken. And there you go, the white disappears and particularly black text is guaranteed to remain. There you go, that's the first one. Something similar to this is if we go here, let's go to stock photographs here, search on birds. And yeah, just a picture of birds like that will do. So we drag in this. And this is now another layer with this on. So let's take the move tool. Yeah, it's better. There we go. And we can drag this round and position it and so on. And now if we go to darken here, the white disappears and the birds appear. However, when you do this, look, the birds don't look too great there, do they? They sort of don't fit in too well. So you have to change sometimes the colours and things like that. Simple way with this is just to go to levels and just bring up the black. And the birds will get darker and find a point there that they fit in quite nicely. There we go. That's another one. Uh, another one here is sharpening. So if I go to the unsharp mask and I just don't exaggerate this, but you get this effect anyway. Turn these right up and you get this halo around the outside. And very simply what you can do to, to get rid of that, the white bit, is to go down to the blend mode. Here we are. It's in every adjustment and filter down here. And go to darken. Yeah, that's the just sharpened, and that's just with the darken on. Of course, you wouldn't be quite so much, you wouldn't get other effects. With this, by the way, beware that when you're doing it, sharpening puts light on one side and dark on the other. So you're taking away all the light on one side and leaving the dark on the other, which is so often it's, it's good enough, but it's not the same as having light on one side and dark on the other. So there we go, that's another one. What else can we do? Ah, uh, yeah, curves. Go to curves. Now then, if I pull this down, it's going to darken. If I pull it up, it's going to lighten. However, if I change the blend mode of this now to darken, if I pull it down below, it works. But if I pull it above, it's not working. So in other words, any time I put that above the line, it doesn't darken. So this area here, you can dibble it. If I want to just get this bit in, I don't want to faff around with trying to make this fit against the curve up here and so on. I just set the darken blend mode and now I've got a part curve. There we go. That's a, a good one. Oh yes, whilst we're at curves, let's do another one, which is that we darken it and we're going to do a burn now, like dodge and burn, but just to darken it. Click on the thing itself, the the and sit control I to invert it, in other words to turn the effect off, then get a brush, a make that white, and typically have a um quite a medium, say about a third opacity, half hardness is about alright. And then if I start painting on this, I'm gonna darken it. Yeah. It's got a relatively hard edge to this, but you might want to soften it for some things. But you can basically paint in darkness wherever you want. And because it's a curves, you can go back afterwards and change how dark that darkness is. You can also do it by other methods of selection and masking. Okie doke. And one more thing. Is if I... Control J to duplicate this layer. Because what I'm going to do is create a bit of a tweak here, which is where I'm going to go to the adjustments and black and white. If you put this on here, you notice that the skies go white, but if you remember that, that turning things white makes them disappear. So, what can we do to bash the sky out altogether and make everything else black? So, that makes the flag black there. So, which way is this going to go? Make that darker. So I want to keep the building and that's all right there. 
Oh, definitely. They want to make the sky go white that way. What about this? Yes, that's going to make the sky go white. So the building dark, the sky white, and not much happening there. And now take the overall thing, and when we hit the darken mode, the sky is going to come back because it's all white, and it's the building that's darker. So I on and off. And of course, I can use opacity to vary that. So there you go. There's a whole bunch of things you can do. It shows the power of using the darkened blend mode. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.